And if you've been paying attention to the news, you know that one of the people caught up in the Trump drama and, and legal back and forth nonsense is my friend Roger Stone. And if you've been paying attention to my social media, you've seen I, I've done a handful of posts in, in support of Roger. Uh, the T-shirt, you've probably seen my photo with that. Roger Stone did nothing wrong. And if, uh, if you, again, if you've been paying attention, you've seen the petition circulating. And, and this is a petition to, to President Trump. You know, why, why would we be supporting this? You know, and I, I know that even bringing this up on Adam versus the man is going to rub some people the wrong way. Like, Adam, why, you know, Trump is the enemy. Why are you supporting someone in his camp, namely Roger Stone, one of the key players in getting him elected? And if you don't know who Roger Stone is, I highly recommend his documentary, Get Me Roger Stone. Whether you you like Trump or hate Trump, and, and for me, it, it's like I'm... I hate his politics. I hate what he represents. I hate uh, a lot of his his public demeanor. Even I, I hate the the mean spiritedness of of so much of what he says. I, I hate his statism. I hate his the the injustices of government that he perpetuates. I hate the the fundamental lies of of his campaign promises that you know we're gonna lock her up, drain the swamp, build the wall. Well, at least with build the wall, he's 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 yeah maybe he's putting in a meaningful effort. But I I don't support it as a matter of policy. So it's like it's a promise I'd rather he not keep in that case but what uh, roger stone represents is is uh, not just someone who helped get trump elected but someone who's been an activist as a, as a political hack as, as a lot of people would call him but really uh the dirty trickster for many many years and a, a lot of what he's done and and you could say and, and i and i wouldn't disagree that getting trump elected is kind of a way of punking the establishment even if it's in the slightest of ways like haha now you have to put up your reality star member of the establishment you can't have one of your regular politicians you know worst way of looking at it i suppose but or the best way depending on your perspective but roger stone right now is getting caught up in this legal battle where he's facing a significant amount of time for what amounts to victimless crimes and i am standing on the side of roger stone on this one really standing against trump if i was president you wouldn't be facing these charges, Roger. This wouldn't be an issue. I look out for people who look out for me. And I would not allow this system of injustice to be perpetuated in such a way that you would be facing prison time when people like Comey, Brennan, McCabe, Stroke, like they all lied in, in so many other more meaningful ways. One of the things Stone is accused of is lying to Congress. It's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> How can lying to Congress, lying to the biggest group of liars on earth how can lying to congress be a crime i mean if anything if if you lie to congress in a meaningful way and and prevent them from screwing over the american people in some small way you should get an award not prosecuted so roger stone uh is is facing charges for lying to congress which you know did he or did he not i i don't really care um something about colluding with russians in the election again i don't really care i'm i'm colluding with the russians more i used to work for for russia today you know i had a show on rt america the the idea that this is a, a justification for locking him up is is insane the intimidating witnesses thing is is such a flimsy nonsense case and, and i would read it from uh, frankreport.com uh, th this is petition to pardon Roger Stone gaining traction from Frank Perlato and I'm he, he says that he actually talked to uh, Credico this is um uh, Randy Credico, the, the one who is uh, Stone is accused of intimidating as a witness. And th this was the, why I say it's like the flimsiest of cases. Now, Frank said that he was told directly by Credico that, that, he, that he was not uh, intimidated at all all about this and that he as, as as frank writes credico told me but he did not evidently get a chance to tell this to the jury that he was not frightened in the slightest by his old friend roger and not influenced to testify or not testify based on anything roger said to him and when roger got arrested for this 
This is insane. Like, and I've experienced this. I have been arrested in a SWAT team raid. This is, it, it, but at least mine involved a firearm. The, the charges against me at the time involved a firearm. So there, there may be some justifi justification for coming in with a show of force. With Roger Stone, he got a SWAT team raid arrest, taken out of his home in handcuffs for a completely nonviolent crime like not even I, there's no allegation even in any of this that there was any kind of violence or or anything involved in on Roger's part so that, that he got that treatment raided by federal agents and, and taken out of his home in handcuffs is absurd and you might think Adam again you're standing with with someone who is, is a Trump guy and I think while that might be true in terms of Roger's recent history, that doesn't mean that those of us who oppose Trump should forego a, a sense of justice when looking at someone because of, of, of their political past. So if, if Roger Stone has, has even you know, committed these crimes, it, it, but it's the kind of thing that, that you only get prosecuted for when there's a, a political reason, when there are other considerations, when this is part of the, the Democrat versus Republican pandering game. I think even, even then, this is, this is the most important time for a libertarian to say, no, I'm gonna stand on the side of justice. Now, you might say, well, Adam, this is a minor case. You know, thousands of people are having their lives destroyed every day still in this country in the drug war that Donald Trump is the overseer of that he could end if he wanted. And, and that's one of the reasons I think this is such an important thing for libertarians in particular to get behind Roger Stone. And now I'm not saying drop everything you're doing. No, he's facing a few years. This is not the biggest injustice in the world, but it's worth standing by a guy who I consider a friend because I believe that he's a libertarian at heart. What he said is, I just don't like being told what to do. And we became friends when we did the uh, the Bundy uh, event for for the uh, the Bundy family facing federal prosecution. Yes, of the Bundy Ranch standoff. No, not the Bunny Ranch. The Bundy Ranch, where they had uh, the armed militia actually facing down federal BLM agents in Nevada. Uh, it, you know, my friend Eric Parker was there. A lot of people got uh, unfairly persecuted as a result of that. And Roger Stone stood up for them, petitioning Trump to pardon them and to intervene in their legal case. And I think at least I owe Roger the same support and consideration. And when Trump is abandoning his supporters, and I, I really believe that Trump's gonna come around on this. He's probably gonna pardon Roger. Maybe he'll wait. Maybe he'll do it in some dramatic way. Maybe he'll wait till after the election and make Stone sit in jail for uh, you know for a few months. I, I hope that's not the case. Uh, I, if he's, I, I hope he's pardoned right away. And if he's not, I'm gonna pardon him January 2021. No questions asked. Roger's near the top of the list for presidential pardons. Of course, after Ross Ulbricht. Uh, Chelsea Manning with her charges, Ed Snowden, Julian Assange, all of those charges getting dropped, thrown out the window. And for all the other uh, political prisoners and, and those in federal prison for victimless crimes, those are going to be the priorities for getting pardoned. But yeah, Roger Stone's going to be on that list. And I think what's so important about this is that it really does reveal that President Trump doesn't care about justice, even when his friends are involved. And that those of us who believe in principle, who believe in a uniform standard of justice based on self-ownership, based on the non-aggression principle, based on ethics, that we show this contrast, that we are more principled than Donald Trump. Okay, I guess that should be obvious by now. But in this particular case, when Donald Trump is leaving one of his powerful friends out to dry, because it might not serve his immediate political interests. We have a powerful chance to show America and the world that we will stand on principle even when it might not be politically expedient for us. So I urge you to go to freerogerstone.com and sign the petition, which 28,000 people have already signed. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that, that we can not just uh, help Roger Stone, but also make the bigger point here. 
and show that it's it's the libertarians who will stand for justice that we will uh, we will defend to the death the right of even our political enemies to have freedom of speech to be free of persecution like this for victimless crimes so again free roger stone Dot com. Thank you for supporting my friend and helping us make this bigger point about being consistent and principled in immediate matters of justice. Adam vs. the Man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam vs. the Man.